Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how uh, to make a cow neck a top. So this tutorial is going to be a very easy and quick one. And uh, so to start uh, making your cow neck, you first of all draft your regular um, basic bodies. And I do, I will put the link below on how to make that. So the first thing that you're going to do is pick up the the front uh, basic bodice pattern, and then you will measure on there from your shoulder how long, how deep you want your cow neck to be. So for me, I'm using 11 inches. Okay. So after that, you get your fabric. Get your fabric and fold it into two. So you fold your fabric into two like this, making sure you have enough to be able to um, accommodate the basic body. So after you've folded it into two, you're going to um, measure from the top. So we're going to measure from the top and measure out four inches so the kind of uh, neck cow neck i'm teaching you how to do today is called tilt method all right so you're going to measure out four inches from the top and you uh, draw a line from there just like this so this is our four inches and so this will be our face so this will be the facing for the cow neck or, and it will be going inwards alright so after you've drawn that then you remember the depth of your neck the how much deep you want it to be you're going to place that measurement just like I'm showing you here from that 4 inches so that's my 11 inches so you can make yours wider, you can make yours to be 12, 12 and a half, however deep you want your cow neck to be. This is where you can you know, decide and place that measurement right there. So after you place the measurement right there, you're going to tilt your the basic bodies to meet the folded edge of the center front. So make sure that everything aligns together. Like that so the facing will be cutting that together with the main body so after that you draw that line to the facing just like that so i'm just going ahead and using a pen to fill down my, my pattern the pattern of the fabric So once you put thin them down, you're going to just cut along. So some people like to pull this, try this out on a pattern paper first before they start you know, cutting it from the fabric. It's totally up to you. So, but if you're not comfortable cutting on your fabric first, what you're going to do is just take another pattern paper and you follow the same method. Cut it out on the pattern paper, then you place it on your fabric and cut it. So after you place it, it should be like this before you start cutting it down. As you can see it's tilted. So from the middle front is where the, the folds for the cow neck will, you know, break. Right? So the, the more measurements you use for the depth, the more it will break in the front after you. So I'm just going ahead and cutting this out.
Also, the cow neck is not restricted only to the front. There are some styles you might decide to have the draping in the back. And if that's the case, you also follow the same method. However, the front bodies will now have to be, um, the neckline for the front bodies will be higher than the back bodies. If you want your cow neck in the back, just the same method. So this is great after you cut it out, the same how it looks like. Alright, so now I'm just going ahead to cut the back bodice. The back bodice is just a regular dark less uh, uh, bodice. There's no no uh, dart for it. And since I'm using a flowy fabric on my bodice, I added uh, one and a half inches for the steam allowance for the side so that it's not like too safer than when you sew it. Alright, so I'm just pinning the back bodice so I can cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So when you're making this kind of uh, style, it's better to use a drapey fabric. So I am using chiffon for my own, but if you have like a jersey fabric or any stretchy fabric, it works very well with this kind of style. So the more stretchy or drapey it is, the more beautiful your, your blouse will come out looking. So this part, this took me like about half an um, not even up to one hour to make it from cutting to stitching. It took like less than an hour for me to do this. So after you cut it out, I'm just going to place this aside and then we're going to join them together. So this is the back bodice. Okay, so now we're going to join it together with the front, right side facing each other. So when you pull it in, the facing will just drip to the inside of the front bodice. Just like that. So you're going to join them on the shoulder, join the back bodies and the front bodies at the shoulder. Also, this is the sleeveless uh, top. I'm making mine sleeveless. However, your you can make yours with sleeves. All you have to do is attach your um, basic uh, sleeve. It will still come out looking great. So I'm just pinning the shoulders and then the, making sure that the facing is draping inwards. And I'm going to pin the sides as well.
after you've been there that when you turn it to over, I'm just going to show you how it will come out longer. So you, this is the blouse, what you cover looking once you pin it, the front will drape again. So we're going to stitch around the shoulder and the side. So as since this is um, a sleeveless top, you can stitch the, the sleeve with a bias or just like that and also the neckline for the back so you just fold and fold again then you stitch it all around it just and then the neckline so guys this is the um this is the blouse after i finish making it as you can see it's draping nicely in the front 